did this actually end up better for you guys? Um, you know, we were really excited about playing SMU. Uh, we knew a lot about them. And, uh, we had a little extra juice about that game, I'll be honest. Um, very similar to after, like, watching the UAB Rice game, we were pretty bummed out. We weren't going to play Marshall. Um, but then we found out we are playing SMU, so we got really excited again because of the Texas, Dallas, and San Antonio, and us knowing their players, them knowing our players, recruiting. Uh, and then we now found out we're going to be on ABC, a uh, nationally televised game on December 26th. So we're all excited again, right? It's, it's, it's kind of like 2020. It's just been such an emotional roller coaster. Uh, anytime you can play on ABC in that prime time spot against somebody, uh, we're not for sure. We're hearing Big 12. Uh, that's pretty cool. So it's uh, going to be really exciting, in my opinion, Hector. When you first get word, that SMU is not going to be able to play because of the COVID issues up until you end up finding out, okay, we've got, now it looks like we've got a home in, in the first responder bowl. Can you take us through, I guess, minute to minute, whatever, half hour to half hour, what that was like for you and trying to figure out what in the world was going to go on? Um, yeah, at first, extremely disappointed, uh, worried about my players. How are they going to take it? We had sit, you know, we had seen the end in sight, right? And so that was exciting because we knew, you know, finally we had an, an end date. So we, we could all plan and make all those arrangements. Um, then frustration because not knowing and gonna have to shout out how, what am I gonna tell my kids? Again, my players, uh, then to, um, Elation might be a strong word, but I was excited that it's going to be ABC December 26th against some Power Five. Uh, so I knew my kids would be excited about it. And that's where I always am, Hector. I, yes, it's exhausting. My coaches are tired and all that kind of stuff, but it's my kids. It's all about my players. And I know y'all get tired of hearing that, but that's where my heart always goes. And for their families and just big time football, um, you know, Christmas is in hotels usually when you play big time football. And uh, that's a mindset. Like our players are all used to Thanksgiving, right? They've kind of been conditioned that Thanksgiving means practice. But to get to a level of where Christmas means hotels, <laughs> that's a different level. And uh, so our kids are very excited right now. Can you speak to the opportunity and that chance to go against a power five on national TV? Yeah, it's just – it's a fun experience for all of us. Uh, it's something that, you know, a group of five schools always look forward to. Uh, you know, we had – it's just – it's a great opportunity. And uh, that's the way we've chosen to look at all of it, Hector, uh, from the very beginning. You've heard me say a million times, is it opportunity or adversity? And uh, our kids have chosen that entire season, which is why we're going to be on national TV for the eighth time. And uh, our brand is hot right now. I know hashtag 210 triangle of toughness. People might not uh, really understand how much that means to us, but it's, it, it's very dear to us. Those single digit numbers mean a lot to us. Uh, when people watch us play football and other coaches speak about us, it means a lot to our players that coaches and players comment how hard we play, uh, the way we play the game, how tough we are, how physical we are, how much we love each other, how much we encourage each other. That means a lot. And the more we can get that triangle to up this brand on TV, the better it's going to help our recruiting. Our boosters are going to buy in more. Our university is more excited. Our city is more excited. And it's just fun. Uh, and when you win, Hector, uh, there, there, there is enough for everyone. And when you lose, there's never enough for anyone. I remember back from, uh, from your days at Gilmer, how much faith uh, drove and drives your life and your decision-making and how you go about uh, your business on a daily basis. 
given what you've gone through this year and up to a bowl game going away and then another one lining up, how much have you relied on your faith in terms of getting you through this year and up until to this very moment? Uh, if you'll ever notice uh, in my office uh, behind me, there's a bat uh, with a towel on it. And uh, one of my uh, very best friends died of cancer in 2009. And uh, he was a baseball player today, and then his name is Matt Count. His life verse from when we were little kids is always Proverbs 3 5, you know, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I keep that bad in my office uh, as a reminder of Matt uh, and that towel of his. Uh, because in moments like that, Hector, um, you better be grounded in something. And that's, that's what I've chosen to ground my own beliefs in. And that towel and that bat and that Bible verse have come in very handy through my career, uh, but tremendously in the last few months. Thank you, Coach.